could create a panic. Yeah, Randy doesn't even know what planet she's on right now, guys. She might not even show up. <laughs> we're not that lucky. All right, listen, we're covered. Trust me. Be back. I do not feel better. Where's Emma? She's she's safe. She's at the penthouse. She's sad. She's worried about her mom. I mean, Corinna's with her. Two very large cops, so she's fine. I thought the worst was over. I'm so sorry. I gotta tell you, Ryan, this is you all over. Partying down, having a grand old time while your lunatic ex-wife runs around town attacking innocent people. Back off, Hayward. And you, Greenlee. What is it going to take for you to realize that this man is a loser? Not now, David. And helping us make Pine Valley a better place tomorrow. I'd like to introduce you now to my co-sponsor, Mr. Zach Slater of Cambius Industries. Hey, how you doing? Um, our town has taken a big hit, and you have, as always, answered with courage and determination, but there's a lot of work to be done. Schools and homes, office buildings have been damaged or destroyed. Families have been damaged. Uh, loved ones hurt or lost. So our job is not just to rebuild schools and homes, but to rebuild lives and families. And we will. And not just with money, but with our hearts. So this is a contribution from Cambius Industries. Thank you. Oh, Zach. Zach, this is more than generous. Thank you so much, Zach. It is so wonderful to look out here and see so many friends and family and, and neighbors working together to help each other. The tornadoes may have decimated our community, but it did not harm our spirit. We will rebuild and we will thrive. We will be stronger because of all of your donations this evening. You are going to help create the tomorrow that we all want for Pine Valley. Yeah. Well, Zach Slater has contributed a, a very, very generous check. And in addition to my donations, I would like to offer my legs a dance to the highest bidder. <laughs> and gentlemen, this is your community. So be generous. $5,000. Put me a bag of shells. $10,000. Oh, thank you, Jack. $25,000. Oh, well, my goodness. Okay, then, it looks like Mr. Chandler. $50,000. You're not going to accept that bid. His check won't clear. My money's as good as anyone else's. And in your case, even better. And very much appreciated. So, going, going, gone. <laughs> The doctor told me to bring Kendall back to Pine Valley so she can die at home. So, 
I'm so sorry. Erica, Bianca, do, do they know? No, not tonight. There's, there's too much hope. I mean, is there nothing that the doctors can do? Everybody's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's all right. It will be. And this time, no one will interfere with our wedding. Oh, oh my God. Don't be sad. I said to bring her home. I'm not gonna let her die. Nobody wants to ruin your wedding, Annie. Our wedding. Annie? Annie? Okay. Yeah, are you okay? Did, did you hurt yourself? No. No, why would I hurt myself, silly? It's my wedding day. It's the happiest day of my life. Nobody's gonna ruin it. That's right, that's right, Annie. Nobody wants to hurt you, okay? Nobody. Because you'll protect me. You always protect me. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love you, Ryan. With all my heart. Everything I've done, I've done for you. And for us. You know, so that we'd be a family again. And so, and so you'd love me the way that you used to. I, Annie. Take thee, Ryan. To be my lovely wedded husband. To have and to hold. Till death do us part. Annie. What? Who did you hurt? Who who did you hurt with the knife, Annie? 